Imagine someone who killed millions of your people respects you because of a small kindness you did in the past, which you didn't even think would later save your life. In 1938, Germany took over Austria without resistance. Jews were being persecuted, but there was one Jew awarded special protection by Adolf Hitler himself, who personally took steps to ensure his safety. The 66 years old was the only Jew with this status, who was allowed to stay in his house without any disturbance, until he was able to emigrate to the United States. Hitler even called him a noble Jew, saying, if all Jew were like him, there would be no Jewish question. His name is Edward Bloch. Bloch was a Jewish doctor, born on the 30th of January 1872 in Austria-Hungary. He studied medicine in Prague, and later became a medical officer in the Austrian army. In 1901, Bloch established a medical practice in the town of Linz, Austria. He was known for being a dedicated doctor, who would visit his patients at any time, even in the middle of the night. He was highly respected, especially among the poorest families in his community. Among them was Hitler's family. Hitler was the first member of the family to be treated by Bloch when he was bedridden with lung disease in 1904. From then Bloch became Hitler's family doctor. In 1907, Hitler's mother Clara Hitler visited Bloch office with chest pain that kept her awake at night but she had been ignoring it. Bloch diagnosed her with breast cancer but chose to inform her son Hitler instead. He recommended a surgery, indicating a small chance of survival. The family was devastated by the news, Bloch said. Clara accepted the verdict as I'm sure she would fortitude and attributed her fate to God's will due to her strong religious beliefs. The surgery was unsuccessful as doctors discovered that the cancer had already spread to the tissue in her chest. Bloch informs Clara's children that her condition is terminal, which means she is dying. Hitler, who had gone to study art in Vienna, returned home to take care of his mother with his siblings. Over time, Clara's condition worsened. Hitler to urge Bloch to try a new treatment. Bloch then began administering a new experimental chemotherapy drug called iodoform, which he hoped would help Clara. However, the treatment was incredibly painful and paralyzed Clara's throat. Despite their efforts, the treatment was not successful, and Clara Hitler died at home in Linz on the 21st of December 1907 from toxic side effects of iodoform. She was buried in Leonding near Linz. Bloch said, while Hitler was not a mother's boy in the usual sense, I never witnessed a closer attachment. Their love had been mutual. Clara Hitler adored her son. She allowed him his own way whenever possible. For example, she admired his watercolor paintings and drawings and supported his artistic ambitions in his memory. Hitler was the saddest man he had ever seen when he was informed about his mother's death because of the poor financial situation of Hitler's family at the time. Bloch often reduced his fees, sometimes taking no fees at all. Without expecting this would save his life later in 1938, even in 1908, Hitler wrote a postcard assuring Bloch of his gratitude, which he expressed with handmade gifts such as a large wall painting. In 1940, Bloch moved to the Bronx in New York City. Unlike most Jews who were forced to sell their homes and belongings at a loss, the Blochs were able to sell their house at market value and take more money out of the country than was typically allowed. Unfortunately, he was unable to to practice medicine in the U.S. because his degree was not recognized. Bloch died from stomach cancer in 1945 at age 73, barely a month after Hitler's death.